Hello and welcome to 82nd Parkway and 17 Business. We're on the corner right here at Hook and Barrel. This building shares the space with Croissant's Bakery. Same owner, same operation, all good stuff. A lot of exterior seating. You can see they have swings and a fire pit. A lot of stuff on the porch, fans that keep you cool. But do keep in mind that the busy road is right there. Just, you know, 20 feet away from you. If traffic bothers you, keep that in mind about exterior seating. Fun fact about Hook and Barrel, their chef slash owner is part of a cooking channel show that is currently airing the first season where they take chefs from two different, very different restaurants in a local area, swap them out and have them cook in each other's kitchens. For the Hook and Barrel episode, they swapped out with Big Mike from Big Mike Soul Food, another fantastic local restaurant. The inside is very, very open and clean and fresh. And I mean clean as in a clean lines, clean colors. It's very nicely done. It's a, it's a good aesthetic inside this space. And they utilize the space very well. It's not very crowded, nice open feel. This place could be fully booked and you wouldn't feel like people are on top of you. To start you off, they're gonna give you complimentary pimento cheese and pita chips to start off your meal. So as we nibbled on that, we went through the menu, plenty of cocktails, plenty of whiskeys and scotches to pick from, and plenty of really good menu items. Hook and Barrel's got some legit stuff. I highly recommend a return visit to try a lot of these out. For our visit this time around, we got the Fish Bites appetizer, which are very large chunks of fish. They do not skimp on any of the portions for this appetizer and two different sauces, one spicy, one not so much. We got a Carolina lemonade, lemonade, mint, and bourbon, refreshing. Then we got what they call the possums on a stump. It's bourbon with a flavored ice cube in the middle and as the ice cube melts it changes the flavor profile of the drink very interesting and i recommend getting that it's different here's another view of how open the space is the footprint of the dining room is not very large but the high ceilings do make a big difference here's a serving of she crab soup soup was excellent that is an entree that I wouldn't mind ordering again. On the side with that soup, got a house salad. The balsamic and the grapes really made this thing pop. I enjoyed that very much. And for our other entree, we got a tuna and risotto, which wasn't on the menu, but it was a special for that day. And I don't regret getting it. It was delicious, but you gotta be a tuna person if you order this, cause it's downright raw, but delicious. They have a pseudo open kitchen. The raw, we'll call it the raw bar side, is open. So you can see them steaming and cutting lobsters and setting up oysters to go out for orders. It's interesting to see them work. Another interesting feature of the restaurant is they have a shared bathroom. The stalls are private, but the hand washing area is public. Just different and wanted to point that out. To finish off the meal, we got a peach dumpling. This thing was amazing. That sums up this visit to Hook and Barrel. As you probably could tell, I enjoyed it and I will be returning. In the meantime, go check out that cooking channel show, Chef Swap. A lot of local Myrtle Beach restaurants have been featured on it in the first season and until the next video everybody take it easy